Hey everyone, welcome to Monday Night Drafting. Uh, finally, Ranked Draft is back to being Theros Beyond Death. Uh, so I am excited to dive back in. The season has reset. Uh, so we're going to be starting off hopefully on a good foot. Uh, but we can see where we go. Let's ooh, use our gold. Um, okay, that's not what I want to see to start off the rank draft season um we have some decent options though the liar is a good card if you're playing green that's decent fixing uh in the black graveyard deck this card is pretty good not worth drafting not worth drafting not a fan i think the best creature is probably witness um Return to Nature is also a removal spell for green, so that's decent. Uh, but since we opened Yucky Rare, we're going to stick with a card that leaves us open. See what happens. Uh, we will not be taking the other colorless card, though. Um, I really was high on this card at the beginning of the format, but I've kind of fallen off. Annex is good, though. I also really like the Sun Main Pegasus. Again, I, I like Witness a lot. Um, well, I'm not sure where we're going right now. If we take Annex, there's a chance we'll get the uh, Rage Hound or Hero back. Uh, Libation isn't too bad. Uh, there are a lot of, a few token makers that can get uh, annoying if you have that though. I think we're just gonna take Annex, see where that goes. Hmm. And now we get a Gary. Okay, so there's nothing decent in red that we care to take. Uh, both of these green key creatures are fine. Not excited about taking them. Dawn Evangel is good in the right deck. But I can't pass up a Gary. We'll see what happens. Ugh, this is all over the place. Alright, if you're in green, red, this card can be a ton of fun. Uh, Moss Viper is arguably the best creature in this pack. It's a fine card. Fine counter spell. There's nothing super ex exciting. This is not where I want to start off. Hey, Ziggy. I uh, don't have an exciting draft so far this for you, but I hope you didn't get snowed in last week. I ended up calling in sick on Wednesday, so I avoided the whole mess, thankfully. Just take the Moss Viper. Just play all of the cards. <laughs> well, originally I was like, okay, cool. We've got a red-green good card with red-green cards. <laughs> the best card in the pack is Apathy. And that officially puts us into four colors. Which is super depressing. And if I take this card, I might want this one. I just, this is a cluster. Oh, only a quarter inch? Jeez, oh, Pete. I think we got somewhere around like five or six. It was, it was a decent amount I had to scrape off my car. Gosh, just take the best card. We'll figure it out, pack two. I don't know what is going on here. Um... I'm not super excited about any of these cards, so I'm gonna take a Traveler's Amulet since we don't know what we're doing right now. This is this is not good. <laughs> Best card in the pack is blue, which would officially put us in five colors. Oi. Alright. We don't know what we're doing, but we're gonna have fun doing it. Um Yuck. <sighs> Let's see. Um, we could take Alter, which again helps if we're doing all of the things, but we have cards that don't want us to do all of the things. Um, so we don't have any two drops. So Temple Thief 
Grove Dancer, depending on what we're doing. Gary is slightly better than the Moss Viper, so we'll take the Temple Thief. And this is our pack. Um, we can take the Return to Nature. Or another, let's just take another Temple Thief. Let's try to force some black. Or we can take another Temple Thief. Let's just have a theme here. Um, not great. Not great. Okay, well. Let's just err on the side of two drops. <laughs> oh, yuck. All right. Um, so we don't really need two liars, although they are good. Right now, we only have one white card, although it is good. So we could take Daxos, who is decent. Revoke Existence is also good. Uh, there's the Fishmaker. Green is... <sighs> this ain't pretty. Green is probably our weakest color. So let's do this. Get rid of that for now. Next is probably, we'll just shove this so we don't want to get too spicy. Um, let's see, what are we going to get back? I'm almost tempted to make take the fish maker. Omen the dead is fine. We could push white. Could also just push black. I'm gonna take the removal spell. When in doubt, take removal. Um, well, the best card is Renata. Can also take minions return, but we don't have any like actual removal spells, so this is awkward. I'm gonna stick with taking the best card. I'm just gonna put that in there for now and see what happens. So maybe we should be playing green. Yikes! All right, I don't think we're gonna play red at this point. I'm not seeing a lot come through. Um. Take that. Both the Nyx Herald and the War Briar Blessing are pretty good. I also like the spider. Really like that guy though. So if we're not playing red. The question is are we playing black? or blue. We can always splash the white, that's not a problem. Hmm. Let's take the Grove Dancer. I'm feeling green is more open right now. Oh yeah, green is definitely more open. Oh, see this is an interesting choice. I really like Forerunner, but I love Hydra's Grove. Even though it can be a two for one, that card can get out of hand. Especially with already having Renata. Oh, and look, not punished. Okay, so green is super wide open. Um, let's take the Chimera for now. If we get short on playables we can always play a plummet main deck I'm not above that that's for sure Ooh, our, oh oh okay so good so so good so good um 
I think we take the mantle because we're not sure we're in blue. We're probably in blue. But that's a tough one. Um, ooh, final death. I'm going to take final death here for now. Oh, now banishing light. Yikes. Um, maybe we're not playing blue. Maybe we're playing... We're going to play green, splashing blue, white, and black. That's a thing, right? Spoiler the warning, it's not. It's, it's not a thing. Um, but I would prefer having a dreadful apathy and a banishing light over two fish makers. So I'm going to take this. The only thing that's pulling us right now into black is, is final death. The temple thieves don't actually matter. I do love an Underworld Charger though, but we have a ton of three drops already. Uh, and I'm not sure we are actually in black. It's sad that we're this far in pack three and I'm still not sure what's going on. That's not a great sign. I admit that. Um, take Pump Spell in green. Ah, let's just play extra colors. Um... What happens if I pull? Oh, I don't have enough playables is what happens. Hmm. Take a scout. Wow, a lot of green cards came back. Um, I like the spider, but I don't think we need two of them. I'd rather just have another two drop at this point. We might be running all of the fixing, folks. All of the fixing. You know, if we're seeing a ton of green cards, we're not seeing any now. All right, we are a few sh cards short of a deck. So. Hmm. Well, what do we do here? Um, we can do this. We have one thing that cares about green devotion, and this is also fixing. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. So that's actually the right amount of green sources, which is surprising to me. Oh, it has us running 18 lands. Oof. We are a little light on two drops. I think what I'm going to do is run the plummet. Run one extra forest. And then we have multiple ways to fix for our splashes. We're playing every green card we have. Um, theoretically, we could play another Traveler's Amulet and get away with uh, being slightly greedier. We have a lot of non-creatures. We also have the choice of making this a, whoops, a slightly heavier black deck but the gray merchant's never going to be super good um and i don't think it's worth it i'd rather play the banishing light and dreadful apathy and we just have a ton of fixing so i don't i, I don't think it hurts us to just be at three and three because we have omen altar traveler's amulet yeah so we're good all right, this is not not the deck I wanted to start the ranked season with. Uh, so 
this is going to be a, an uphill battle, that is for sure. But that is kind of how today is going. So that's fine. Wow. Every smart magic part of my brain is telling me to pitch this. But the bad player in me is saying I have one land and three one drops, one of which gets us a land if we don't draw, and we're on the draw. So let's keep it. I might regret this, and that's okay. Oh, nope, never punished. Uh, we're going to put out the Moss Viper first, just simply because uh, with black they have that 2-1 that the spider can kill if they play it. Uh, so we're going to play this. I'm not actually... I was tempted to play the Grove Dancer, but it doesn't do a whole lot right here because the Temple Thief doesn't. Uh oh, um, that's gonna be annoying. So I'm gonna get a white source here because if we draw Banishing Light, we can get rid of Underworld Dreams if it gets scary. Oh, yep. Um. I almost want to attack into the Moss Viper because I feel like it's a race. I can't just sit back and wait at this point. And even better, they don't. Because it wouldn't surprise me, especially running the hateful Eidolon, that they have um, Meyer's Grasp. Yep. Okay. So for Ah Question is are they gonna trade off the Woe Strider? So I'm thinking about playing the Hydra's Growth, which makes it a four, which means they have to block with two creatures and we Two for two, which is fine. Um, I think I need to do that. And if they don't block or just block with like a goat or something, this just makes a bigger threat. They didn't hit their fourth land drop either. Fine, I will kill both of your creatures. In the perfect world, we hit our fourth land before they do, because then we can even put the mantle of the wolf on the moss viper, and that's fine. All right, that was not a land. I'm assuming that's what they're looking for. Ooh, what you're cooking? I haven't had dinner yet. I need to... Uh, I need to do that after this. Oh, you're fine. Oh, we did not get our next land. Um, we need five cards for this? Four cards, sorry. Um, I guess that is a bit of a race, so. I don't want to stick around too long here, just sitting doing nothing. Uh, which means I'll actually play... I feel like playing this is a bad move, but we'll see if I... Oh, that sounds delicious. I love pork chops. Oh, I got the fourth land before we did. We're in trouble. We are in trouble. Well, we're definitely going to block. We have first strike and lifelink. Is that what this thing does now? 
first strike, life blank, deals damage. All right. Which putting hmm. So I'm gonna get greedy here. We are definitely on the back foot here. We are having trouble because we're going to continuously take one a turn and they're going to gain three a turn and that math doesn't work in our favor uh, my only hope here is that they don't have a trick when i block and um make my dude bigger they don't have a trick Oof. All right, we're okay. Let's see what they get. If they get some removal spell, we're definitely not playing Mantle. Definitely not playing Mantle. All right, so, yeah, take that. Um. I don't want to trade the Moss Viper. It's not worth it. Um, I wish they'd attempt to make it look like I have something, but they don't. That's fine. Um, can they get back? Not yet. They can't get that back yet. But if they Myers Grasp, We need four other cards, which means we can do this. Ooh, perfect. Resolve. Got me. I'm just going to run this guy out to kill the... One, two, three, and four. Get rid of the envoy. And then again, I'm not going to attack on the Moss Viper. He's not worth it yet. And we have two great cards depending on what they do. We can mantle up something very easily. We can Banishing Light something. Especially if they wouldn't get... What you getting? Hmm. Yeah, that's a thing. So they have four power. I think it's time to diversify our threats. So they're going to put, I'm assuming they're going to put that on the storyteller. Yep, we'll have to lo lose our Grove Dancer. Oh, they didn't attack. Okay. Uh, we will hopefully, Banishing Light. Yep, cool. All right. I was a little worried <laughs> starting that match off, but it worked out okay. I will take it. All right. We'll keep trying. 
I really wanted to open the the blue white enchantment that uh, does so much work, but I can't seem to get that one ever in a draft. So instead, we're playing green, splashing black and white, and it's super awkward. All right, let's try this. This time we have three lands. Keeping the one land hand was was a bit ballsy on my part. Oh, and the natural three colors. It's like we're almost good at this game. Ooh, that's a good card. Um, play this. We should need to draw a three drop now, like they did. Well, that isn't exactly what I was talking about. Um, I'm not going to attack. I have the option of blocking with the Grove Dancer and Gift of Strengthening it. Especially since it looks like they're not doing anything crazy. I think that's what I'm going to do. They'll come back eventually. Especially since they have Devourer. But, slows the, the bleeding a bit. Five. It also allows me to play Mantle and them to not be able to kill it with the current creatures. In the next tournament, I have a couple different options. Yeah, they got me. Let's see. Uh, I am not going to get stupid greedy. And put the Hydra's Growth on the Forerunner. That's fine. I have five mana, so I'm just going to play the Forerunner. Theoretically, next turn, if I draw a six land, we can play a combination of two. Those two, okay. Well, I can't block that. Okay, so our wolves will come in. We'll leave the five three back for now. And well, I'm tempted to play Omen. Playing it next turn pumps the skirmisher, so we'll wait. There's a charger. They're very big on the graveyard stuff, which is fun. They have two cards we do one card we don't know what they have. Hmm. So they have a two three. And then two, two, ones. This gives a pump on the front, unfortunately. All right. Let's attack in with these two. I think we need to clear the way a little bit. Sacrifice an enchantment day. Eh? Sure. So this is the perfect time to do this. Uh, we don't have anything that requires double anything, but we'll get another planes just because. And then I'll sacrifice that. So now they have, they're back to just one card that we don't know what they have. We still have the Huntmaster, which is really good with the Forerunner. I just don't like the fact that they have a Death Touch sitting there. It's vaguely frustrating. But at least their 5-5 can't block. I think I'm going to... I'd like to play the Liar, but we're ahead right now. 
So I'll play this, pump up the wolf, and then swing in like this. Yeah, they've got to do blocking because the creatures have trample. So they're at three, which means unless they do something crazy, we're not going to block. We're pretty good for this next for this next turn here. See? Not bad. Okay. We're getting there. All right. So we just have to get really lucky with this deck and we'll be okay. So so far, the splashing of the two colors hasn't actually hurt us much. Um, we do have a ton of fixing and we only we have what two white cards and a black card. so and they don't need to be played till later in the game. So in that sense it's it's not that big of a deal. but it could be uh, could be tricky. Um, I really wish we had another land. We have two lands and a two drop, and then if we hit three, when we hit three, we'll be able to go fix one of our colors. So, this isn't too bad. Plummet's a, a fine card in most matchups. Looks like our opponent mulliganed. Yeah, they're down to six. All right, we'll see how this goes. In an ideal world, this turn or next turn, we'll draw uh, a land so we can play Skirmisher and flash in Omen. Skirmisher, while a fun target for Hydra's growth, doesn't put a counter on it, so it's not as good. All right, definitely need the other land. Okay, that's annoying. Definitely need another land. Well. We'll play it. It blocks a 1-2 just fine. It's not exactly where we want to be, but it's fine. Okay. We're going to be in the sit and stare at each other mode here for a little bit. Okay. We have plummet next turn. If we don't hit another land, that would be depressing, but that's fine. Yep. We can also technically block, but we're not close to being able to get it back. So I'm going to wait. Oi. Well, this is awkward. I didn't think keeping two lands was too crazy. We've drawn, what, three cards since? Four cards? Yeah. They still have three cards in their hand, so I'm not sure what they're sitting on. If they play an enchantment, we can uh, plummet this guy down. If they don't, we might just. Oh, okay. I'm. I mean, I guess they could have the aspect of the mana core. I would think it would make more sense to almost flash that in beforehand. So it's going to get flying and then it's going to plummet to the ground. Yep. 
Yikes. All right, well. We're just going to swing in because we're not blocking for either of them. Hey, another one. Fortunately, we don't have another plummet. All right, here we go. Um, well, I'm not going to attack. I'm also not going to play the liar. I, I need that extra land. We are getting to the point where we should probably block with the spider, though. I'll wait one more turn. go get a planes yes please <sighs> of course is that how it always works um one two three four so plus five which I think is worth doing this I think there's also an argument to be made that I should have played Liar and two Amulet to keep getting the lands. But that 2-2 two -two is quite literally not going to do anything unless it gets all swingy. Alright, they're sitting with one card in their hand. Three, and I need to exile four other cards. So I'm actually going to block now. Hmm. So I really need more cards in my graveyard. I'm going to attack there. So they're going to do five damage to it. So I have a couple choices. I think, because obviously they're afraid of this creature, I'm going to Gift of Strength it, which means it won't die unless they block it, which they still can do. But at least I'm getting rid of a creature. Okay. And I'm going to crack this now. So that now I have, I can get back the arachnid next turn, um, which is important because otherwise I'm going to die. Um, I also have to kill the chimera. Uh, so before I should attack with this. Because having the Chimera and the Omen of the Forge gets out of hand really fast. Now it makes them less likely to be able to attack. We're sitting at six, which isn't great, but it's something. I 
mean, if we do this. Okay, so to not die, uh, we have to make sure they don't have a bounce spell. I think I'm going to play the Liar because it lets me tap down their gull. I'm also going to attack here in case they want to trade, but we need to get their life to the low. All right, so our best option is to play this. And Theoretically, depending on what they have in their hand, obviously, we could win this game next turn. Alright, let's see what they do. They kept one on top and then conceded. Okay, well that was... Why wouldn't you put two on the bottom and see what you draw? Okay, well, we started again on the back foot on that one. I did not think getting stuck on those lands for so long, I thought we were in deep trouble. Um, but, especially with all the, they had a ton of flyers. Um, but, that worked out. Bean scrub? Okay. Ooh, perfect. This is a great hand. Um, ideally, we draw another land, um, preferably a swamp, but that might be greedy at this point, uh, so I'll just take it. This is good. I said we wanted to draw a swamp, not them. Alright, Envoy. Oh, we got the swamp! I'm going to play Grove Dancer, though. So that's, it's an aura you control is attached to it. All right, so we actually have a couple choices. Um, we're obviously not gonna run the Grove Dancer into the Dawn. And Dreadful Apathy doesn't turn off the ability. So we'll just play a big dude. At least they have no targets in the graveyard right now. Sad panda. Well, they missed their fourth land drop. So I'm going to go... I'm just concerned because black-white has so much removal. Um, so I'm not going to get greedy. I'm very tempted to get greedy. Not yet, though. So many envoys. Do you have another Myers Grasp? That would be bad for me. All right, so now we're sitting at five, uh, which doesn't do us a whole lot of good. Next turn we'll have six. So I think I am gonna get greedy now because next turn I can play Apathy into and Tower Scout. And this makes it awkward. Like they can double block and kill the Huntmaster. Uh, I'm going to kill this. Okay. Mm -hmm. They hit their fourth one. Two, this is five. Three other cards. 
Okay, that's not good for us. Um, so that means we are going to apathy. So we can exile it at some point. Uh, and then... This is where I'd love to see the um, Forerunner would be really good right now. They obviously have some kind of removal. I say that because they're highlight. Oh, oh. Okay, that's annoying. Hmm. Well, they still only have one blocker. So unless there's something black at instant speed. Nope. Awesome. Oop, we're officially out of bronze. That was, wasn't too bad. All right, well, let's keep going. So far, so good. Our janky green splash white splash black deck is doing okay so I won't complain um, this last game was perfect on the mana so that was nice let's do that again hmm, not perfect but not bad we can play the amulet it always makes me worried when I don't have two drops but Oh, who needs an amulet? We'll just natural everything. It's fine. Oh, I do love that guy. Ah, oh, that's fine though. Uh, so we'll play, sure, swamp. And we'll do this on their turn, because why not? Oh, that guy is good too. I will very gladly trade my Viper for your Horn Beetle. No? Fine. Um, let's just get another, well, almost said Swamp. I want a Plains. All right. Um, this is gonna be an interesting one. They have some great cards already. But I can't attack, that's for sure. Yep. They have three cards left in hand. Hmm. Well, this is interesting. So it would be an eight five. They have to block with at least two of their creatures. Yeeks. I think it might actually be worth it. Ooh, this is tough. All right, greedy is as greedy does. Oh, they have, that was actually dumb. They could have very easily had Omen of the Forge and just blown me out there. Mm-hmm. All right, so they 
have three mana open. I am tempted to put the Hydra on this. But then I'm like looking to three for one myself at some point. Which does, just doesn't seem good. So what I think I'm going to do is play the Liar. Because then at the end of their turn or their combat I can tap this down and then on my turn tap this down yeah let's do that I am not going to attack although maybe I just would rather play a 2-2 two 2-1 -two, two actually yeah, the Grove Dancer doesn't bother me. I want to be able to block the Rage Hound, because otherwise I'm going to take three a turn. But I don't want to block, in case they have a trick, with the Chimera or the Viper. Got a land. Interesting. Okay. So we're going to do this. The six. Target this. Hopefully they don't have a pump spell. I mean, they still have two cards in their hand. And they didn't play anything. Which makes me really nervous. But I think I'm going to attack in with a Chimera. At best, it's two for two. Or at worst, it's two for two. Hmm. I'm really confused. Are they really just trying to get... Oh, they have a bunch of stuff. So they have four cards in the graveyard, so they can't get back the Typhoon. They could get back the Rage Hound if they exile the Typhoon, which I'd be okay with. Hmm. Okay, they got back the, the Typhoon. Um, yeah, I'm okay with this. Yeah, that's fine. I am not going to untap that. Okay, I can stop drawing lands though. Jeez. All right, they have two cards. Um, I can attack. He needs three. They have one. How many do I have? Three. And this needs three. All right. Yep. I think we're going to attack with everybody. Or by everybody, I mean the one creature I have. Because to kill it, they have to double block. Ooh. Still traded. I got two wolves. And I can get this guy back. Two and three. I guess technically leave that in there because it's the best card. Um, I still... They can't currently get this out. They could drop a land in or drop the top card and then do it but they have two unknown cards in their hand so I'm not sure what exactly they're waiting for yeah I think they've hit land like three of the four times I've done it with this 
All right, he's back. Now there are no cards in the graveyard. Um, I am not at this time going to do that. Oh my gosh. All right, so we're going to attack with both wolves. I guess the thing I'm most scared of right now is that I'm having like portent of betrayal. Um, why do you keep hovering over my chimera? Okay, I'm not exactly sure why they conceded there, but I'll take it. Hmm. Yay, Midnight Reaper. I like that card. All right, nice. Oh. I mean, I could have attacked with a Chimera, but it just felt like I didn't need to because the next turn I could untap the Liar tapping down whatever creature they had left because the 4-2 would have to attack, which theoretically with the Hydra would probably win me the game. But they didn't know what I had, so... Well, whatever. I'll take it. Ooh, ee, this is slightly awkward. Um, we do have our fixing. I mean, it's a fine hand. I'm not super excited by it. But we can cast anything in our deck, so. Right? One, two, three, four. Well, we have a couple five drops, but still. Almost everything in our deck and the three colors we have. So that's, that's winning at least. Hey, again with the natural. All right, we're going to play copycat here because why not? I'm probably going to play the Chimera next turn. Oof. Big buddy. Hmm. Nice. Um... We need to be able to block what's going to be a 4-4 four, four next turn. No, never mind. We're not blocking a 4-4. Four, four. This is slightly awkward. I'm tempted to not attack and then, but I'm still two for winning myself there. So I'm not going to. There's no way they're, they're blocking with the Grove Dancer when they need it for the Horn Beetle. I was like, I'll gladly trade for the Grove Dancer. No blocks. <laughs> Nothing super scary. Uh, 
that's slightly scary. Alright, so they know we have this. We'll play this. Um, next. I don't actually attack with that. We still need to put the pressure on. Um, this requires three other cards. They know we have it, so we might as well do this. We really need to see, like, um, Vanishing Light or Dreadful Apathy or Final, what you calls it. I will take six here to kill the four one. All right, got it back. Just do this now. We'll get another white source in case we do get the dreadful apathy so we can activate it too. All right, they know we have this. I'm gonna play this. And not attack. They have a removal spell, we're in a bit of trouble, but this does kill the horn beetle as much as it pains me to do so, and then we can get the chimera back. So we need three other cards. They could also get favor back. Hmm. Yeah, I think I just need to do this. With the lamp hat on the field, we're in some trouble. We can play another creature, so that's good for us. As soon as they do, we're basically dead. Got the swamp just in case. Oh, so we grab another swamp. One, two, and three. We are definitely in some trouble here. Leave the, the one land in hand so that they don't know what we have. We can scry at the end of our turn. Of course, that's what they're doing, and they'll probably find a creature. And then we're we are in trouble. Probably should have killed the, the horn beetle sooner rather than later. Hmm. Tough choice. Hmm. Two on top. Great.
I unfortunately have to block there. I'm still probably dead, but this gives me my best out. Oh yeah, super dead. My only out here is to get rid of the lamb pad and be able to play a creature, which is not what happens. Because I can't even activate that. Maybe they won't see the line. Block. Yep. I'm dead. Oh well. That's alright. That horn beetle is a Beast of a card. I probably underestimated it. It's okay. We uh, we had five wins in a row before we got our first loss, so that's not too bad in the grand scheme of things. Uh, considering it's a three-color deck, that's actually pretty not bad. As a reminder, if you haven't yet checked out Mom's Basement Games on TCG Player, do it. Buy some stuff. Help support the stream and the whole team. I do the drafts on uh, Monday because I love me some limited, but we have crazy other uh, constructed lovers later in the week. So if you want standard or modern or pioneer, make sure you're following the channel so you can see what all the, the team is doing. It's not just draft all the time, which is kind of unfortunate if you ask me, but that's okay. Hmm. We really need a planes. But if we hit it, it's sweet. So let's try it. Okay, we're in trouble. <laughs> wah, wah. This card is so good. Oh, serious trouble. All right. Well, at least we have this guy. At least we can play the next Herald next turn. Um, and if they equip and swing, we are 100% blocking. That card is so good. All right, we definitely need one more land. Preferably a plains. But I would take anything at this point. Although not a swamp, because we only have two in the deck, and that'd be really confusing. Ooh, Renata. Nice. All right, all right. Um, I think we need to push. And he can block Renata even with the sword. That was what I was afraid of. Okay, we really need a, a planes, and we didn't get it. Okay. Um, swinging with the big dudes and hope for the best. <sighs> Yep. 
Oof. It already has lifelink. It has super lifelink now. Okay, so how do we beat a 4-5? Um, problem is our hunt masters can't attack in. Although, I could put the mantle of the wolf on one of them and then he can target. That's probably the best bet at this point. I think that's the only chance we have of winning this race. If we hit a planes, we're solid. If we don't hit a planes, we could be in some trouble. Oh, we could be in some trouble. Oh man. Okay. That's the one answer to that card. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Funny. All right, so, well, now we can attack. Yeah, with everybody. And we are going to, rather than on tapping somebody, which is tempting, I'm putting more power on the ground. We've got them at one at this point. The problem is they're gonna gain four, they're gonna go up to five. Yeah, I'll do one to that. Really need a planes. Um, there's actually no use in attacking. Because they're going to gain four, and they only have one less creature than we do. So now we have four outs in the deck. We have Plummet, we have Final, whatchamacallit, we have two planes, actually, and then we have, oh, we can draw our Temple, we can draw our Traveler's Amulet, we can draw our Omen. We actually have quite a few outs at this, okay, this is less of a thing. Mm. That wasn't one of the things. All right. I can make him bigger. Wait, that doesn't help. Well, at least they're down to no cards in hand. We are gonna block with the spider. We're not near enough yet to activate it. 
That's fine. That gains us some life at least. Oh, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, this is actually tough. We're at four. I think I'm going to actually dreadful. Oof. I'm going to dreadful apathy the Pegasus because it gets rid of the flyer that I can't currently block. I can then banishing light next turn the sword because the sword on anything I can block enough and survive. But if there's any kind of pump spell for the flyer, I don't survive. Can attack. We only have two turns left before this guy can attack again, too. No, son of a. Sitting at three, we need two others. Yep. Okay. Well, we have to banishing light the Pegasus. As much as that makes me sad. Can't currently kill it. I'd rather get rid of the sword, but we just die if we don't. We're still at four, so we do have to be careful. So many flyers. That's okay. We get our uh, we get our dude back here soon. Yep. Yep. That sword is so good. Yeah. Hmm. So that's a six six. Hmm. Well, let's do this. Get rid of that. How will we survive this? We're gonna. He does have trample. I'm gonna pass blockers. I'm gonna block here. Oh, do I get super greedy? I gotta do math. All right, they're at 16. We will do. Yes, so we will do. Two, four, eight, twelve, back? That's not enough. I'm just trying to decide if I go to one or not. Go here and here. Alright, we're going to block like that. I guess I've had the gift, which means I could have blocked the flyers all along. Yeah. This guy 100% comes out. One, two, three, four. Kill this one. Um, we're gonna go here. 
And then they have three creatures. So one, two, and we'll leave these guys. Well, they have two creatures technically, but just in case, since we're at one, well, five on the butt and three in the butt, that should be okay. It might be greedy. Because if they have any way to get rid of that, we're in trouble. Yep. And then we'll get the surprise I didn't attack with more. All right. Um, yeah. Oopsie. The problem is we don't have a good swing back right now because they have the two five. So. Hmm. Right now they're just going to keep gaining life. So I'll play the Moss Viper because it can start getting in. But I don't have a super profitable attack right now. I guess I could do this and this. If nothing else, it just kind of negates the life gain that they're getting off of the Pegasus running into the spider each turn. Yeah. Which means I definitely don't have a profitable attack now. This is super awkward. I'm not sure what we even, ha I didn't take a screenshot. I'm not sure what we even have in our deck. Hmm. Well, Renata is something, I guess. I don't think getting in for one point of damage with a Moss Viper does a whole lot. Play her at least. I'm not going to attack. Oh, super awkward. Hmm. Crap. Well, we have to block. So we have three in the graveyard. We can do this at least. Might as well at this point. You know it's never a good sign when your opponent casually takes 10. turn and maybe the forget to attack that's our best out at this point hmm. okay I guess diversifying the threat isn't a bad idea. Pass the blockers. I'll just sits and giggles. Everybody there. 
we've lost this one, but we're taking that out when we go. Ha, he died too. I mean, we still died, but at least we got that guy. All right, before I forget, let's go take a screenshot. Let's take a look at the deck. The draft wasn't super, super amazing for us. It was super clunky. Oops, that is not what I wanted to do. So we're basically mono green splashing both black and white, which again, super awkward, but we don't have a lot of problem with mana fixing because we have so much of it. Um, I will appropriately call this deck my junk deck because it is kind of junky. Um, so in that game, yeah, I mean, we could have grabbed a final death. It may have been an out for us, but we were, we were in trouble. And I mean, in white, we have hero, temple. We had one to play black, but didn't get there. One play red, didn't get there. It was just a super awkward, like, set of options we had. But it's been it's been okay. We're sitting at five two. We'll try it again. See if we can eke out a seven two maybe. And then if not, for how poorly the draft went, uh, which was uh, to put it nicely, a train wreck. Uh, I can't complain with what we've got. Speaking of complaining, oh geez. Um, I want to keep it because we can cast everything in our hand and we can find mana and then final death something. But this is useless. We have no creatures. Oof, I'm going to mulligan. We're going to keep this and actually throw back the altar. Right? Or do I just want to throw our land back and play? Let's throw the unmatchy forest back. There we go. Because we have the Trammler, Traveler's Amulet to play on one. Uh, we'll be able to play the Grove Dancer, then the Pantheon, and then Renata. So it's a decent curve. Uh, so we're not going to crack anything just yet. I always get worried when I see the carry did it on two, because then they're going to play a crazy four drop or not. We're just going to miss their third land drop. All right. Um, we are not going to run our Grove Dancer into the three, two. Uh, we'll go get a swamp on their turn. If they attack, I will block. Because this blocks Renata really well. Swamp. <laughs> Alright, we can stop drawing lands though. I already threw one land back. Uh, past that. Ooh. How many colors are you playing? What character is this? I don't... I don't know who that is. Hmm. I'm not nearly as up on my magic lore as I probably should be. That's what my friend Dan is into.
Ooh, so what does she do? Okay, so not a creature. Uh, creature spells cost one less. Okay, that's a thing. All right, so. <coughs> Gonna kind of be a dick. Yep. They're obviously having mana problems, so <coughs> excuse me. Ooh, lucky. Getting kind of hungry. Not sure what I'm doing for dinner yet. It's definitely not as good as pork chops and green bean casserole, that's for sure. Feeling lazy, so it might just be ramen. Um, we'll see. Oh, well, that's not nice. They're still having some mana problems. Uh, conversely, we're having some mana problems in that. Oh, we're drawing our lands. Um, I'm not going to untap that yet, even though uh, all we do is draw lands. As soon as I hit, like, Basically, any creature will probably be okay. Although they're sitting with five cards in the hand that they can't cast. Oh, they can cast that one. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, oh my gosh. Um. Well. I think we have to do that. Which is super depressing. <clears throat> Three, six, seven, eight. So we've seen nine lands this game. Yep, I'm pretty sure we are in trouble. Decline that. Okay, okay, well. they're playing blue they look to be a very creature heavy deck which makes me think they probably don't have counter spells but I'm not willing to take that chance We need a creature here, folks. Hmm. I will. Un oh my gosh. Just gonna pass. Yeah, she untaps. Oh, that is. That is bad for us. I think we're just dead no matter what. Oh yeah. I don't think I don't think that turns Nylia on. Almost one more, I think. Which, that's one more. I mean, they had us dead with just the creatures on board. But I get it. Win more. I'm okay with that. I understand. How many creatures did we draw this game? Two. 
two creatures this game. That is not how you win a game of magic. Oh, who are you going to fight? You're just trying to draw and discard? You have me dead. Just kill me. Put me out of my misery. He attacks the Dryad that carried it. I'm totally, yep, it's getting bigger. Yes. There, now I'm super dead. Ugh. Well, that was uh, an uneventful game to end this on, unfortunately. But we made it up to the silver rank. We got out of bronze. We had a junky deck um, that performed fairly well until it decided to not draw creatures. I wasn't super happy with that draft, how it went, but that's okay. Uh, so that'll be it for tonight because... Uh, I am kind of hungry, and now it is my dinner time, but I will be back next week. We'll climb up again, hopefully try to punch out a silver. Hopefully the draft will go better than this week's, because again, super awkward. Um, there's probably in that second loss I took a way for me to win that game, using the giant strength better, but that Shadow Spear is so good. Uh, it's really hard to beat, but... Oh well, we will learn from this and get better, and hopefully we will see everybody here back next week, 7.30ish, to do another ranked draft with Theros Beyond Death. Until then, have a great week, and make sure you pop in and see the rest of the team throughout the week for the other fun format. So.